Alrighty, what's going on guys? Karimfkin here, and oh my god, I'm so excited to watch this trailer, so I've not seen it yet. It's just gone live literally two minutes ago, and I can't wait. I, I pray, I pray this looks good, because I've been itching to play some Call of Duty. Infinite Warfare? N nah. COD 4, yeah, that's fine. I, I play that every now and again, but I, I, want, I want new COD, and oh, I'm so excited. So what we're going to do in this video, we're going to watch the trailer. It's going to be... Like I'm gonna react to it and stuff like that, and like yes, because it's my first time watching it, and um, then we're gonna go break down and look through the trailer and stuff like that. So, oh my god, let's get it. This day have set upon a mighty endeavor. Souls will be shaken with the violences of war. In this hour of great sacrifice, oh. we shall prevail. Oh my God, this game looks beautiful. Get your head down and keep moving. Oh my God, this game looks beautiful. We are all as <laughs> will from darkness. The enemy is ruthless. I can tell the campaign on this is going to be brilliant. You must not. It better be. Whoa. Oh Jesus, he got hit with a bell. <laughs> oh. He's gone. Flamethrower! Oh my god, yes! Flamethrowers. I love flame throws in World at War. Oh my god. Oh, he got punched in the face. Nope. Oh, MG42. MP I saw that MP40 right there, it looked like it. And the guy's getting beaten to death with a helmet. <laughs> Beautiful. No mission too difficult. No sacrifice too great. I can't wait for this game. Oh my god. You're a long way from Texas for me. Oh my god. That looks amazing. Pre-order now and get access to the private beta. That looks amazing. Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys let me know what the hell you think of this 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 trailer. I personally, oh my god, that looks amazing. That looks amazing. I'm I'm so hyped for that. Don't forget to drop a like, spam the comments with hype if you are hyped for this game, because that looks amazing. Oh my god. Oh my god. That looks sick. Oh my Christ. Alright, let's watch this through again. We're gonna we'll break this down. Let's have a look. In-game footage. Well, this, this looks really nice. So let's have a look at this first little shot here. So it's obviously storming some beaches and stuff, and it's gonna have like the been turret encampments at the top, spraying down the beach. Planes as well. I saw some planes in the first bit when we watched the trailer, and if they're in, oh my, like, I, I don't see them being like vehicles we could use, but if they were, that'd be pretty cool. But I don't know where. I could see them just being kill streaks, like you know, um, straight running like certain areas. So you just come through and just loads of bullets just come flying down. So that I can see that being a kill streak. That'd be awesome, but. This as a multiplayer map would be sick. So not as a map, but as a mode. So you got to try and reach certain points of the map. So you're coming on boats, so you can have snipers up on this top bit or something and attack. But anyway, we're, we're gonna break down to it. It's my ideas that are <laughs> I want to see happen. They'd be awesome. But anyway, I'm jabbering. Let's have a look at the next bit. So we got now a bunch of. Uh, Probably Americans in the boats, just chilling. With the violences in the war. rain. An M1 Grand right there. In this this game looks beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna go back to that one. Go back a little bit. Cause that's quick. Bam. Let's go back a tiny little bit right there. So we got turrets on the top. So I wonder if this is gonna be like more battlefield orientated. So. Like in the older cards, well, the 
more newer cards. They've got jump packs and stuff. Maybe they're going to try and switch it up and add vehicles into this one. Personally, I'm all for it. As long as there's no jetpacks, then we're good. But yeah, I, I doubt there'll be jetpacks. It's World War Two. This game looks amazing. It looks goddamn beautiful. Let's keep going. Right. So they get rammed. <laughs> all right. I want to see that bit. Go back. They're getting so pretty much the doors have just dropped and they're getting gunned down immediately. My. God. God, this 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 campaign is going to be brutal. I'm going to do a full uh, walkthrough Let's Play type of dealio when this comes out because World at War campaign, my favourite. And if this is as brutal as I think it's going to be, this may top it because this game, just from this trailer, oh, didn't mean to click there. This game from this trailer just looks, it's like it's just going to completely blow it out of the water and bring Call of Duty back into the uh, rotation of my games because I've been. I've been wanting some Call of Duty, and I'm feeling it. This game looks amazing. Next part, so climbing out of the boat. Is that just someone survived? Probably used his uh, used his buddy <laughs> to uh, hide behind. He dropped out in the water. So we see him. He's just chilling by the boats. Probably just pulled him out. He's probably like pass. I bet you, you um, because he's like clipped it. So in this is actually like one of the first missions where you jump out of the boat and you just like in the water like bleeding out or whatever, passed out, and like drags you out or something, but got a nice uh, M2 frag grenade as well on him, so yeah, grenades, boom. <laughs> I want to go back to that tower, like, if this was in multiplayer, so, oh my, this, oh, they just need to make the multiplayer just like World at Wars, because that was brilliant. So you can see all the boats back here, and then I presume Nazis in the uh, turrets, and, like in the uh, bunkers up top. As that is an MG42 turret, probably. I, oh, if MG42 is in the game, oh my god, that's gonna be cool! I can't wait for this game. Let's see, we've got an M1 Grand here. He's got some sort of, I'm not sure what that is. Maybe like a Thompson type of dealio type of weapon type of thing. I don't know. Um, I'm clicking off stuff. Boop. <laughs> Let's go back on that. <laughs> Ooh. Go back to that. So we see them all running through. Uh, it looks like the bar. B-A-R for World at War a little. Uh, that's probably got a different name in this one. Um, it just looks... It just looks... Just... Death and destruction. It's just... What Call of Duty needs. None of this futuristic crap. We want the old... Boots on the ground, nitty gritty, running through the trenches, shooting the crap out of people. That's what we want. Then, he's even got like an ammo crate there, a bunch of corpses, obviously. Um, and see if there's any, I'm trying to pick out, see if there's anything, there's some fire there, I'm not sure what that is. It's a medic. And then camping up there. I'm trying to see if it, like, because they're showing little snippets, and see if I can see if I can find anything. So we see some more planes. So these probably bombers and stuff. Flying over to get him to annihilate some bitches. That ass though! <laughs> so this guy is probably one of the main bad guys I would have thought. Probably from just looking at this, is probably is one of the main bad guys to be fair. So it looks like he's got a is that a Walter pistol or something like that. Something along those lines. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I don't know. Or a Mauser pistol. Mauser pistol actually, that's probably the one. Here we see this is probably our main uh, five guys in the squad. Like, you know, you only have like your your main squad when you're doing the campaign. So these are probably your main guys. Presume this guy is your captain, and this is you, or this is you, or maybe this is you, or this is you. <laughs> but I don't know we could be playing as any one of these guys. So this is the, this is probably mm, I'd say this, I don't know. We could end up starting. I don't know where this is set. I know it's set in World War Two, but like. What's going on? I don't. I don't know whether we've been told what's going on, but I'm not sure. If we have, then feel free to let me know. <laughs> but yeah, let's keep going. We must not fail. This game looks beautiful. All right, so we look like we're in 
Uh, one of the little camps. Hopefully it's like the uh, Modern Warfare 2 bit where you've got the camps and you can do the, like, the training thing to get like used to the controls and stuff. I like that feature, it's good. It's really cool. What else? Oh, tanks. Now if they bring tanks back into multiplayer, that will be amazing. Because tanks in World of War were brilliant. I like, oh my god, I could not get enough of the tanks. They were so, so good. Oh, if they're multiplayer, that's sick. Maybe even like some little jeeps. We could have some longer, bigger maps. I'd be down for that. That'd be awesome. What else? So let's have a look at some of the weaponry that we're dealing with here. So seems like the same couple weapons that are M1 Grand. That may be... Ooh, that couldn't be... Uh, it does look an M1 Grand, but it doesn't as well. And we've got the tank gunner up there. I'm not sure what that could be. It's probably a lo something along the lines of like a Thompson or something like that. But, not sure. Here we see an actual close-up of the enemy tank. That looks amazing. It's like, oh we've got a little turret there as well. And um, we've got some more tanks in the background. Is that a helicopter? No it wasn't. Um, next bit. Alright, here we go. We've got some M1 Grand still and stuff. Got the, whatever that gun is, I'm going to call it Thompson. Looks similar to it. Uh, came out to full screen. <laughs> I'm going to see if we can get... <laughs> what a perfect time to freeze it. Just like, I believe I can fly. <laughs> oh. But this campaign does look really cool. We've got planes coming in. I can see that being a, uh, a kill streak. So they just come flying in just straight from inside. Just like across one area, the map's like an airstrike would bomb one area. It'll just gun the crap out of one area or something like that. That'd be super cool. Um, shooting our main characters by the looks of things, so they're getting shot at while they're running. Just stand in the middle because the guns are only going to go this side and this side. Just sat. And the wow, his brain just like burst everywhere. Let me see the M1 Grand again. Mm, what looks like to be an M1 Grand again. Anti-air turrets, like that looks super cool. Like again, if they was going to introduce kill streak stuff, they could have these positioned around the map, like to where if like with like domination or something, if you're holding the zone, it would like knock out air streaks and like help you out knocking them out. Because there's like Panzer strikes. If you're going to call in air strikes and stuff, you know, and spy planes that type of thing, you're going to need something to take them down. So. Like a Panzer Shrek, you're not going to be able to get a spy plane with a Panzer Shrek, are you? Unless, well, you could. You have to be MLG, though. <laughs> what else? Uh, we've got some more plane action. We've got this dude. And we've got the bell. <laughs> Can we, uh... <laughs> Let's get this going at, like, super slow motion right here. Alright. This guy's about to take a bell to the dome. BAM! <laughs> <laughs> like that would just I don't know how he stayed on the ladder that would have hurt that would have hurt so much um I don't think we can see any cheeky like hidden easter eggs chilling anywhere I don't think we can nope not that I can see um now this part you just grab his hand you wouldn't look how did you just grab the dude's hand nope <laughs> he's falling Rip. Oh, here we go. Here's the M2 flamethrower. Oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> if this is anything like... What's he actually shooting at? If it's anything like the uh, World War 2 one... Uh, World War 2 one. Call of Duty World at War flamethrower. Then that will be awesome. What's he actually shooting at? I don't know. I think he's just shooting in that general direction. Um, but yeah, that looks awesome. Awesome! Look at it! That looks amazing! I'm a big fan of the, uh, the flamethrower, by the way, if you haven't gathered. Um, we got bayonets! Ooh! The bayonet right there, you see it? Attached to the gun. Hopefully we got... Oh, that would be cool attachments back. So we can have um, the bayonet melee back. That would be cool. Uh, what else we got? See, that is like a hidden little easter egg there. You see the bayonet right there? That's 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 cool. I hope they're coming back. Uh, we've got an M9 on him, an M9, M1911 even. 
on him. Balox things. He's got his grenade back. <laughs> He's not throwing that grenade, he keeps it. Just in case. What else? Oh, another round one grenade. He's got like a shovel. This looks so good. This, this, oh, the game, just the graphics look amazing. <laughs> Bam! Fatality. Is that a tank just like driving through a wall there? See, it's bayonets again. Oh, going back to that, we've got bayonets back. Whoa, what is that? See it? After, after the right hook. Bam! Here we go. You should see the bayonets. Boom! Wait. There. It is teasing them bayonets. They they better be in multiplayer. That'll be amazing. Uh, what else we got? We got there's a guy dolphin diving by the looks of things right there. Right here, <laughs> this guy right here. Just look, look, <laughs> look in this area. Dolphin dive. <laughs> they look like like a mortar strike type of thing right there. Oh, MG42. Look at it. It looks so good. <laughs> um, I'm not seeing any other weapons than the M1 Grand and like that other little like Thompson-looking weapon, and possibly that may be the bar as well, or a DP28. Oh wait, that was Russian though, wasn't it? I'm not sure. Yeah, that looks like the bar right there. If you're not sure what the bar is, join Will at War and just type in that bar. Machine gun. Uh, MP40 looks like it's back. Is that the MP4 or is that the... Oh, it might be like a, an M10 or something. I don't know what an M10 is. Something like that. I think it's an M10. I don't know. It's something along those lines. But it looks like an MP40, but it's an American weapon. But I hope the MP40 is back as well. Um, this looks like that bell tower that was uh, in previously where the dude got hit with the thing. It's flying out. Is there any cheeky hidden Easter eggs in the rubble? If you spot anything, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, I'm not seeing anything. Oh, there's a dead guy. See the dead guy? Anything else? Um, beating a dude to death with a helmet. Beautiful. He did not see that coming. I <laughs> get it. Nazi, because he's a Nazi. He did not see. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe for more. <laughs> and I believe is that. Tell them what we're all about. No mission go. too difficult. Oh. Um, I thought it was at the end though. No mission too difficult. So we got the M1 Grand. Um, we got me coming out of the fucking thing again. <laughs> got some more tanks, some tank actions. We've got two guy on the turret. And they're all firing at some other tanks by the looks of things. We've got a Browning. M19 Summit. Browning. Uh, firing into the thing from the tank. So that is the turret mounted on the American weapon. And um, we've got a dude getting headshot. Getting no scoped across the map. No sacrifice too great. And like just just that tank just looks like an absolute beast. What'd be a cool uh, kill streak to see is a like tank mortar strike. So you're on like a trenches like map and then like a bunch of tanks just driving from either side and just fire into the map randomly. That'd be awesome. To see something like that. Tank barrel again. Bam. Oop. I saw that. I saw that, you little cheeky. It's more bayonet action right there. You can see it actually fairly clear right there. Bit bayonet action. Here we go. He's shooting some Nazis by the looks of all, all friendlies. Yeah. That looked like he was shooting friendlies right there. Super slow mo, that bitch. What am I doing? Super, super slow mo. There we go. Boom. Like, look at this bit. Looks like he's about to start shooting friendlies by the looks of it. Okay. Sure. This game looks amazing. You're a long way from Texas, farm boy. Bam. Call of Duty World War Two. <laughs> November third. November 3rd, make sure you are subscribed and you're checking out this channel because I'm going to have so much Call of Duty coming. Oh my god, it's going to be so good. It's going to be so good. Um, there's been some, uh, some rumours that the um, 
actual co-op mode is going to be some Call of Duty Zombies, possibly. So, go on World War Two. Just it's just going to be World at, World at War. Like this is the, that's the game I'm comparing this to. And if it doesn't top World at War, like it's it's going to be hard to top World at War for me because nothing tops World at War for the, for me. It's just the, it's my favourite card. Um, so yeah, you pre-order to get the uh, beta access. Uh, I'll be streaming some of the beta when it comes out, so make sure you're uh, subscribed so you can check that out as well. Um, yeah. And get access to the private beta. Looks good. I'm liking it. Sajama, so, you did good. You did good. Get a seal of approval from me. Um, you you are going to get a like. <laughs> you get a like from Grumpy Kenny Gaming. There you go. <laughs> you get my seal of approval. So. That has been the Call of Duty World War 2 reveal trailer. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, make sure you do subscribe so you can stick around and check out uh, some other content. I have an ARC uh, series that I just started recently. So you can check that out if you haven't already. Uh, make sure you are subscribed for more Call of Duty World War 2 uh, updates and stuff so when that gets released. There's like, a load of cool like new trailers come out and stuff which probably will towards... Um, the E3, E3, and um, stuff like that, so, yeah, gaming events coming out soon, so, yeah, feel free to subscribe, and make sure you are, because I'll be going over through, going over through, going over through, English, yes, great, <laughs> I'll be going through all those, so, uh, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in the next one, bye!